the straw killed the camel. When your own mother has no choice but to walk away from the ghost of her only son, who still walks with his transparent, dullard tenant, who has taken up residency in his vacant carcass, but over and again, to call her sadness, sadness is an insult to her emotions. The moment her back rests on her closed front door at the end of the day, of a work day, of any day, she begins sobbing. She prays for my very troubled soul in life. She cries her eyes out, day and night, remembering word for word the last thick tongue slurred, hateful phone call I'd made. It was the last time we had spoken. On that day, I told her spitefully that I would kill myself again, over and over and over, till she dropped the phone and ran out into her front lawn and threw herself on the ground, and there she stayed, racking her brain over why and how her firstborn's love-filled nature ever came to be withered and dying on the barb when his young life should be in full bloom. When mom quit answering the phone and walked away from me, I wasn't calling anyhow. While I'm arrogant, aloof, insane, a liar, and completely blind, she in unison is trapped in private hell, made of me. Love is nothing more than a jack-o'-lantern. Love is a jack-o'-lantern that hovers over graveyards and bogs. But if you take that love and attach it to will, it becomes a lighthouse that brings you safely into harbor every time. Study hard on that. It's just a reason to deny all the limits that border on the thinnest frailties that make a sudden change and I'll pay my soul to sleep I'll make up words that I keep letting nothing go to anyone at all so where your loyalty now when all the cards have been left on the table so where is your loyalty now when all the cards have been left on the table Cards have been left on the table. Sorry.
sorry for itself. The bird will fall frozen dead from a bow. Without ever having felt sorry for itself.